What's up, everyone? Welcome to This Day in Philly Sports History for January 3rd, 2023. Before we get into anything, just want to say thoughts and prayers to the Buffalo Bills and DeMar Hamlin and his family. If you guys didn't know or, or watched the game last night, or didn't watch the game, I should say, uh, Hamlin on a tackle uh, in the first quarter uh, made the hit and Apparently, from what I saw and, and what I've been hearing this morning, it was just a freak accident that he hit the person and on the, the trauma on his heart at the exact right time caused him to go into cardiac arrest. Um, games postponed. Apparently, he is in stable condition. Uh, they have him sedated right now as they're running tests and everything, but it does seem as though it just un was an unfortunate freak accident, almost like the perfect storm of the way things went. Um, and before we get into the Philly stuff today, I, I do want to just might piss some people off here and that's okay. I'm, I'm willing to take the consequences for this, but just kind of scrolling through Twitter at last night, trying to find out what's going on. Social media can be a toxic Toxic, toxic place. And I, I think we as a society need to get better. And like we're so quick to, and this is not a political thing because it's both both sides of the spectrum and everywhere in between, where it, we're so quick to say, no, you're wrong and you're evil and I hate you and you need to be canceled because somebody has a major, it disagrees with what we feel. And I am an educator by my day job and I feel as though, we need to educate. And yeah, like, I don't know what it is. We're, we can have differences of opinion. We don't have to agree, but I feel we don't listen anymore. We hear, we see, we read, but we don't listen to anybody. And I think ultimately that's what it comes down to. We need to listen to what everybody else is saying. Maybe get a, a, some perspective on where this person who disagrees with you comes from. Because ultimately, we all believe our beliefs in everything are shaped by our experiences. And unless we're listening to everybody, and unless we're trying to make an effort, we're, we're going to get, we're, we're doomed. We're doomed as a society. So make this your New Year's resolution. Don't be so quick to react and call people out. And, and, and again, it goes on both sides. Just listen. Make that your New Year's resolution. Listen, gain some perspective and maybe understand that, you know what, this person's coming from this and I don't understand that doesn't mean he's wrong, doesn't mean I'm right. It's just a difference of perspective. And again, I don't want to turn this into a long rant, but we, we just need to do a better job of listening because it's ridiculous. And I, like I said, it's not conservatives, it's not liberals, it's everybody. Your opinion is not 100% right. You need to listen. Your opinion is shaped by your experiences. And everybody else has different experiences. Even people in the same family. I, my brother and I had different experiences, even though we're two and a half years apart. And we grew up with the same parents, same family, same everything. Our experiences are different because it's shaped by what you do. Be Don't be so quick to judge and jump at somebody. Start a conversation. Be open to listen. Don't just hear people listen. And it just it showed me last night that we as a society are fucked up. So please, if you if you're listening to this, likely if you're listening to this, you're a lot like me. But if you, just listen, that's all. Listen to people. Make that an effort. Take a deep breath. Count to three and listen. All right. With that being said. Quick Sixers update. They got their revenge at home against the Pelicans. They won 120 to 111. Joe went for 42 again. He's been unworldly, uh, otherworldly, I should say, the past couple weeks. Harden threw down 27. Um, Zion and CJ McCollum got theirs too. It was just one heck of a game that it was flipping back and forth between. Um, they're a game out of the third seed, so they're, they're kind of clicking and things are starting to go well for them at the right time. Flyers, on the other hand, Kind of are clicking. Yes, they've been playing a lot of shitty bottom bottom feeding teams, but they won against the Ducks four to one for their fourth straight. Um, a game again where they could have moved down in the standings, which is kind of still funny to say. But they currently are in twenty sixth out of the thirty two teams. So 
we'll get there. Uh, the Eagles, no real major updates on injuries or anything like that. Um, I, I did not hear because of all the other craziness that happened yesterday, whether Josh Sweat was released from the hospital or not. But at, at the game time now is 425, and I think we all should be resting very peacefully because Doc Rivers guaranteed the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. Um, I'm kidding. I'm, I, that was a pile on Doc. I'm just saying. Like it, It's funny that that came out. He's like, oh, yeah, they're going to guarantee. Like, How about you focus not on the Eagles, on getting your rotations right, Doc. But we'll take it. All right, so for this day in Philly sports history, we're going to go back to 1981, and it was the divisional playoff game against the Vikings at the Vet uh, following the 1980 season. Um, we know the Eagles went to the Super Bowl that season, but they beat the Vikings 42-7 to earlier that season in Week 2. So they finished with the 12 and 4 record, which I never realized this until right, uh, last night when I was doing the research for this. The Eagles were the two seed. I thought they were the one seed, but the Falcons had the one seed. So they were seven and one at home. So what that meant was the Vikings came as the winner of the Central Division to Philly, and they needed basically to hope that. Dallas, who won the wild card round, beat Atlanta to have that home game. But considering they beat the Vikings 42 7 earlier in that season, they played like it to start the game. Um, it seemed like they expected a cakewalk, and the Vikings jumped out on them early 14 0. Um, and then the Eagles did come back and tie it. Uh, they gave up a safety, so it was 16 14. And then it just became just a slop fest. Uh, the Eagles forced eight turnovers. All together, they gave up three. Uh, Wilbert Montgomery scored two touchdowns, and they ultimately did pull away and win 31-6. to six. Uh, But by any measure, it was a sloppy, ugly, disgusting game. Uh, but they won, and that was all that mattered. So they had to wait to see who their opponent was because they played at 1230. Dallas and Atlanta played down in Atlanta at four. Um, so we know Dallas ended up winning, and ultimately came to Philly the next week for the NFC Championship game, which we will get more into that next week. But for now, on this day in Philly sports history, January 3rd, 1981, the Eagles beat the Vikings 31-16 to in the divisional playoff in what was really just a sloppy, sloppy game. Um, glad I did not watch it, uh, but by all measures from everything I saw, it sounded disgusting and horrible but in the playoffs you win and move on and i think we're 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 getting into that mindset so hopefully we have more of an update on the eagles tomorrow again thoughts and prayers to demar hamlin and his family and the whole entire buffalo bills organizations i've never seen anything like that and just the look on their faces and say what you want about the nfl and who made the decision what decision Ultimately, the right decision was made. There was no way to finish playing that game. Um, but with all that being said, thoughts and prayers to his family, him, the Buffalo Bills organization, everybody, even the Bengals, uh, T. Higgins, um, for even being involved in that hit. Like That's got to be something. So just thoughts and prayers. And I'll leave you with this. Ordinarily, I will say go have yourselves a Tuesday. Please do that. And until next time, not even I'll see you when I see you. Just listen and, and just show some compassion for people. And, and and you know what? Make it your point this week. And it doesn't even have to be today. The entire week. Just take a minute and learn something new about somebody who has a different viewpoint than you, a different religion, a uh, different cultural background, a, a different ethnicity, something. Just take a minute to learn something about somebody that – is different than you to maybe try to understand and, and move on and not be so fucking nasty to everybody, please. So go have yourselves a Tuesday, be nice to one another. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.